my name is Kane Thomas. Uh, I run on the men's cross country and track and field teams. I've been running competitively since seventh grade. Um, I started doing track and field then, um, and I've continued since then. Um, yeah, coming from Seattle to Washington was a pretty big jump, but uh, I think I came down here kind of, you know, that sense of adventure to get out of the, the West Coast bubble and, you know, see the rest of the country. Um, cross country and track are actually surprisingly different, at least for me. Um, in track, I'm more of a middle distance runner around the 800 and the mile, whereas in cross country, you're always running five miles every race. Um, I'm a lot better at track, uh, I think, maybe because I'm held more accountable. Uh, your coach can see you the whole way and can yell at you, whereas in cross country, you're kind of you know, off by yourself in the woods. Sometimes there's not even other runners around you, um, so that's the main difference. My ideal cross-country course uh, would actually have some hills on it. I tend to, to run better on hills. Uh, it also helps kind of break up the race for me. Otherwise, you can kind of get stuck in a, a mental rut, I think. Um, my running style, I'm, I'm kind of shorter, so I, I tend to take a lot of quick steps. I've got fast turnover, I hear. Um, other than that, I, I can kick pretty hard being a, a track runner, so a lot of times I'll just sit and kick. Uh, the athlete that I... Uh, try to emulate while I'm running is actually uh, Steve Ovette, who was a contemporary of Sebastian Coe. He was actually his big rival, but uh, Sebastian Coe is a lot more famous. But uh, I really like Steve Ovette's, I guess, uh, his, his philosophy towards running. Um, off the field, I am involved with a student organization uh, that's looking to make microfinancial loans to developing countries. Um, the name of that is the General Development Initiative. Uh, my favorite moment of my athletic career was actually freshman year. We got to race up in New York at the, the Armory, and I, I actually bumped into uh, Bernard Lagat, who's one of the, the top distance runners in uh, the world right now. Um, so that was pretty exciting. Um, my personal goals for the 2012-2013 year, I'm hoping to take first in both the 800 and the mile in track. Um, and I guess academically, just stay afloat. <laughs> If I could choose to have one superpower, I would probably choose the ability to fly. I always want to be able to do that. Um, my favorite class at Washington Lee has been Poverty 101 with Howard Pickett. Um, it was a really rewarding class. It was very de demanding too. Uh, I took it during spring term, so I had it twice a day, um, every day of the week. And uh, I learned a lot. It's a different perspective. And I'm, I'm hoping to apply what I've learned later in my life. I actually, before races, I try not to get pumped up, especially during cross country. Um, it's a five mile race and I find if you, if you get yourself too nervous before a race, uh, you, you might you know, freak out during the first mile and then you're going to be in trouble, mile four. Um, I do have a lot of superstitions. I only wear black socks when I race. I always wear the same watch, stuff like that. When I was a kid, I um, planned to either be a paleontologist or a firefighter preferably both at the same time. You can have kind of an action, dinosaur-filled life. Um, after graduation, uh, I'm planning on trying to live in China for a year. Uh, I'm a Chinese major, so I think that would really help me develop my Chinese language skills. Um, I would say the best thing about being a student athlete at Washington Lee is the, the way you're able to balance being a student and an athlete, I guess. Uh, the coaches are very understanding when you need to prioritize your academics and Professors are generally very understanding about when you know, you're traveling for a sports event. Um, if they made a movie about my life, uh, I'd probably be cast, or Hugh Jackman would probably be cast as me, the uh, Australian dreamboat. Um, if my life had a soundtrack, it'd be constant Black Keys and Macklemore. In my opinion, uh, WNL is a special place to compete and to get a degree because of the, you know, the strong sense of history and tradition. Um, also melded with, you know, the, the pursuit of, you know, attaining something great both for yourself and, you know, society in the future.